Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video, The Week That Was. To those new subscribers who are joining us, thank you. I hope you stick around and follow my yarn adventures and you enjoy them. For those of you who've been with me for a while, welcome back. And yes, let's get into The Week That Was. The start of the week, um, well, last video I said my knee was sore and playing up and I'd been hobbling a bit. And my week started off pretty much the same. My knee was still sore and wasn't too bad. I was going to work. I did go across the road to my local craft shop because for some reason, I don't know why, I've had the urge to make a christening shawl for a baby. No, I don't have grandchildren on the way. So the local craft shop had this pattern book that I'd been eyeing off. I hope that doesn't flare in the light. I'm in the dungeon. The boys are watching the V8 supercars again. So yes, this is Shepherd's Pattern Collection 1 Baby Shawls. There are nine styles in baby wool merino, two, three and four ply, which is like fingering and sport weight. And I quite like this and I bought this. Um, $19.95, which I thought was a bit exy for a soft backed pattern book, but I really like them. I hope that's not flaring because it's a little light in here tonight. But I want to make a christening shawl in white. The problem is here, I can't get or seem to get enough yarn in either the three or four ply either a wool or a wool blend for a christening shawl because the patterns are like 50 gram balls which is and you need about 15 50 gram balls to make a shawl so that might have to wait a while till I can get the white because it seems a lot of people are out of the white wool stock but that was my acquisition for my local craft shop from there my knee got worse and things went downhill I am now getting pain up my spine, down my neck, down my right arm and I was sent off for an MRI and we're waiting for the results. I have a knee brace on and I can do very little. I can't even knit or crochet anymore because the pain in my neck and arm is too bad. Um, hopefully the MRI will tell us what is going on. I should find out tomorrow. I've either got arthritis from old age, pinched a nerve, or it's something more serious, but I think it's just old age. Anyway, before it got bad, I did finish off a couple of projects I'll share with you. I'll just put it back on the mannequin. I finished off my knitted slouch beanie I was doing. This is a pattern I've shown before. I do it all the time because I'll just... It has a nice feature in the back when it slouches over and a big brim. I made a smaller one this time um, and it is unisex. So I've made it larger for men in men's colours. This is a dark navy with a fleck. This yarn was yarn I bought, sorry, getting too close to the camera, last year in Finland on my holiday up that way in Helsinki. It is Moomin and Novita, I can't even pronounce the name of the company, wool. It's 75% wool, 25% polyamide, 100 gram ball, um, 246 yards, 225 meters per ball. Now that slouch hat nearly used it all. And I used a four millimeter knitting needle. Now it cost me 670 euros, which I always write on when I'm holidaying, which was $10.85 at the time, exchange rate, Australian dollars. So yeah, now the actual yarn itself isn't very, it's quite scratchy. You wouldn't use it for a wearable. You'd need an undergarment. But it's fine for hats. I do have another um, ball in this colour. They don't have colour names. I can't see a colour name. They're just like Australia. They just have colour numbers. No, no name. I do have, as I said, another one in this colour and another one, another ball in a slightly lighter colour. But that was my yarn I bought in Finland out of my stash. 
and I finished that and then I showed you last video for secondhand September some yarn I bought from a charity shop that was like almost half a cake now when I went to use it it was a three weight so it's probably a Mandela cake because it is acrylic and I made of course a tea cozy for secondhand September I make along now with a tea cozy this is a small two pot a two cup pot and with the tea cozy both sides usually look the same but I just went with a yarn and it's a bit funky so this side is green yellow orange blue and then this side is green yellow orange bitter red blue and I made the tie I have used probably 99% of that cake there's very little left in my tea cozy for second hand September AU my make along demonstrating what you can make now I've had a few photos posted which has been great um, Gary from Urban Yarns made a beanie with charity shop yarn he, uh, yarn he bought he made the um, chocolate beanie pattern from Bag Day that looks like an awesome pattern I have to try that and um, Hope Mahoney she'd shown a photo of the yarn she bought on the marketplace from a lady second hand yarn and she made a baby blanket and a toy which is awesome um chris keeps just absolutely astounding me with her gardening ideas she bought an old bucket put holes in it turned it into a planter she bought a colander turned that into a planter another lady has made face masks out of tights and of course there's that one photo of the lady with the blanket on um, my ravelry group now it's 27th of september uh, my make along closes on the 30th so you have about three days left to post photos either join the facebook make along group post them there join the ravelry group post them there or post them on instagram with hashtag secondhand september au don't forget the au now if you're not on social media as i said before you can email me your photos and give me permission to show them on a platform and share them with our yarny friends it's getting exciting. Um, my make-alongs never attract a big audience because I do weird things, but I hope you join in. There's still three days left and it only has to be a little project of taking something old and making it new again. You can frog something you've had sitting around for years and reuse that yarn. Just take a before photo of what you had made years ago and hadn't finished and reinvent it. That's a great little thing to do. Anyway, secondhand September coming to a close soon. Don't forget the AU. Now, because I can't knit or crochet now, and I've been told not to because it really aggravates the nerves in my shoulder and down my spine into my knee, work that out. You get a sore knee and you can't knit or crochet. I am sitting around a lot with my leg propped up and knee brace on, doing very little. I watched um, some Netflix. I don't watch a lot of TV. I watch Ratchet, which is about the nurse from One Flew Overs at Cuckoo's Nest. That was quite good. And then I got bored. Um, I'm frustrated because I like make-alongs and cows and I've started three and I'm 80% finished of a Halloween cowl um, with Ricola crochet along crystal. It was a, I've made two things that I've already put photos in, but this was the pattern... I bought that got me all excited about Halloween and I haven't finished it one because I can't anymore but I was frustrated it's a knitted pattern and you knit two parts and you put them on stitch holders and you go off and do something else there's nothing to tell me in the pattern what I do with them on stitch holders they just what they stay on stitch holders it doesn't tell me how to take them off how to assemble it so yeah, I got quite frustrated. I have worked it out for myself. But I, I paid for the pattern off Etsy. I don't like doing bad reviews on people's websites. So I guess my question to you guys is, should I email the pattern designer and say, the pattern you're selling is incomplete? I'm an intermediate advanced knitter and I could work it out for myself. But a beginner would just be like, what do I do now? It doesn't tell you how to put it together, how to finish it off. They're on the stitch holders. So, yeah, I'm tempted to email her, but if you're a pattern designer, would you be offended by someone saying to you, your pattern is incomplete? 
there's something missing or would you appreciate knowing? Leave a comment below and tell me if you think I should let the pattern designer know her pattern isn't finished. Look, I didn't pay a lot, but it wasn't cheap and it's not the money. It's the fact that it's frustrating. You get a project to almost completion and there's no instructions on how to finish it or how to assemble it. So that's one make along I'm on. I've done 80% of the cornucopia make along with J hook. Um, I want to finish that. It's so close to being finished, it's annoying. And I started the um, Z make-along for her birthday, which is on the 15th of October, the Just Feel Festive Shawl. When I sorted and cleaned out my stash, I had a lot of three-weight or eight-ply yarn with metallic threads through it, you know, like half a ball, a third of a ball, a bit. And I thought I'd put it all in a bag and thought, oh, they might make a shawl or a blanket or something with that. Well, I'm making the Just Feel Festive shawl and I only started it just before everything went crap with my back and shoulder. And, um, yeah, I'm 70%. So I've got all these cows that I want to finish and I'm not allowed to till I find out what's going on. Doctors, they annoy me. <laughs> anyway, that's my words. But because I'm sitting around a lot and I had to take time off work because I've now got knee brace and my knees blown up, hubby said to me, why don't we go up to Melanda and you can check out the craft shop. When I was on holidays, I was given a card for a lady who opens her craft shop one day a week and from 10 to 5 p.m. And I had it did say on this card cross-stitch, so I was a bit like, no, she probably doesn't have yarn. I checked out her website. She had a little bit of yarn, but not much. And I said to him, oh, I don't know if it's worth it. My knee hurts. It's an hour away, over an hour away. It's a long drive. He said, no, it'll get you out of the house. You can sit in the car, look at the scenery, have a break from the house. So off we went to Melanda and we turned up at her house where her craft shop is. And I'm thinking, there's a lot of cars. It's going to be crowded. I'll have to wait while we can go in. Go around the, to the craft shop. And it is huge she must have this huge room attached to her house i'm telling you it is a normal size big craft shop you walk in through the door i should have taken video but there were so many people there there was buttons and bolts of fabric and i'm thinking well she still doesn't have much yarn go around to aisle two full of yarn karen simply soft all panda yarn um all sorts of yarn and I got really excited because if you remember my yarn swap, if you've watched that video, I got a ball of Aran Red Heart from Janice and Hubby liked the colour and I ordered three more from a Toowoomba shop online because he wants this hippie poncho when I can make it or when I feel like making it. And the lady at Melanda had that Aran Red Heart. She was selling packs of three at $9.95 a ball. And I thought, that's awesome. She had the colour my hubby want, like the parrot. And then she had this colour. And she had another colour, which was like black, greys and tans, which I like. But I told hubby, if there was yarn at this place, he could pick the colour. So I have been making like a wearable cardigan, my first ever that's nearly finished. I want to finish that too and I wanted to make another one because I've really got the bug and he picked this color green I don't like purple I'm not fussed and blue I would have picked the black and tan but he says no you wear too much black this will look nice with jeans so I have three balls of this color not my favorite color that he picked but not only did she have name brand yarn and quite a good range she had indie dyed yarn. I have never seen it anywhere in Cairns before. And she had this yarn. It is Candy Apple Lane. Hand dyed yarn, sweeter than sugar. And it's the lady up there that does it. Now, this is a 100 gram hank. There are 200 metres or 218 yards. Australian pure new wool. BWM Luxury 8 ply or 3 weight. It is so soft. It is so nice. And yes, it is 
$23.95 and, and I bought four for a project for something for me. For me personally, but I don't know what. Guys, if you have any ideas what I can make with my hand-dyed wool, please leave a comment below. Now, yes, he picked this colour. I don't mind this. This is Treehouse. It's got a little bit of green. It's got orange, my favourite colour, and no purple. So I quite like this. Now, I plan to go back up on the Tablelands in October to my favourite news agency to get Crochet World and other magazines if they have them. And I'm going to go back to this lady. I'm going to try and time it with the one day that she's open because this lady's not going to be making any more hand-dyed yarn. She's getting out of it. I think they freaked when I pick up, picked up four hanks because I oh, it's really expensive. No one wants to pay the money for the yarn. So if she has any left, I might buy some more. So that was me, my shopping trip. Up the Tablelands did make me feel better. Um, it's Sunday, 27th. Monday, I find out what the MRI showed. I think it's either a pinched nerve or something. And, yeah, I'll get treatment and I'll be back crocheting and knitting before you know it. So, until next time, guys, thank you for watching my videos. Take care of each other. Stay well and have at least one crafty day because I can't right now. Bye for now.